one of the biggest things you have to take into account with any type of impalement is going to be the stabilization of the object before you start moving the, the patient or the object. No matter what we do or how we do it, we're going to cause some sort of vibration, movement, and that's going to cause more internal damages, that's going to cause pain, it's going to cause discomfort. Some things are going to cause a lot more vibration, but they're going to cut quicker. So there's going to be a give and take with that. For any type of rebar impalement, the bandsaw is going to be a go-to. If you guys don't have one, that's the time to start talking to your, your organizations and say, hey, the members need this because this is going to be helpful to the public. They're fairly cheap, but they're going to pay dividends in the long run if you guys end up running anything like this. You're going to have to have someone who's going to be assigned to hold that while you're cutting. And someone's going to have to be paying attention to the, the patient. There was very little vibration, nice little smooth cut. A ton of sparks, a lot of vibration. I think it took a lot longer to cut through the metal itself. Same thickness, same metal, right? 